Interesting facts about famous people. Today I'm going to add to my first two videos that you may have seen. Take a look in the description in the links. Top 10 Western actors of all time and top 20 Western actors of all time. For those actors already mentioned in these videos, I will make a reference to them on the back end of this video. In my channel, I also have individual videos on some of them, not to be missed. The link is in the description. I won't rate them as there is way too much personal preference amongst the audience. I'll start off with the new additions first. Here are your top 50 Western actors of all time. Keenan Wynn was one of the top character actors in Hollywood. He was known for his expressive face which made his style of acting effective. Known for appearances in The Wild Wild West, Bonanza, Rawhide, Wagon Train, The War Wagon, Stagecoach and more. Tom Tyler. In the early 1920s, Tyler was offered a contract by FBO to appear in silent movies for four years. Here Tom learned his acting skills and slowly grew in popularity for his silent western movies. He acted in over 100 westerns, including the 1939 version of Stagecoach. Dan Blocker Bobby Dan Davis Blocker was a television actor whose most famous role was in the popular western TV series Bonanza. The series ran for 13 seasons, with Dan as a main cast member, also known for Cimarron City, The Rifleman and The Girl in Black Stockings. James Drury Drury played a leading man in many films and television series. Drury acted in western TV series like Love Me Tender, Black Saddle, The Rebel, Wagon Train, Ride the High Country and more. Slim Pickens, an actor and radio personality appearing in many westerns as a cowboy. Early on he took part in rodeos and riding broncos. His father forbade him from this dangerous work, so he competed under the name Slim Pickens. The name stuck with him through a 20-year rodeo career and when he entered films and television. A few notable appearances, Blazing Saddles, Best of the West, Tom Horn, The Sackets, Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, and more. John McIntyre. John was an actor who worked in radio, theatre, television and films. The roles that brought McIntyre acclaim were mostly in westerns, like The Far Country, The Tin Star, Winchester 73 and more. Also working in television series like Cimarron City, The Virginian, Wagon Train, The Overland Trails, Bonanza, Dundee and The Culhane. Brian Keith, an actor who worked on stage, television and film. He was the son of film and stage actors Robert Keith and Helena Shipman, so he took up acting starring in many television series and gaining film stardom with westerns like Fort Dobbs, Sierra Baron, Run of the Arrow, Hell Canyon Outlaws, Rawhide, Laramie and Ten Who Dared, Frontier Circus, Nevada Smith, The Rare Breed and more. Richard Farnsworth, a two Academy Award nominated actor who starred in many films. The roles that earned him acclaim include The Grey Fox, Comes a Horseman, Roots, the Tin Star, A Lawless Street, The Cowboys, The Straight Story, Anne of Green Gables and more. Harry Carey Jr. was the child of actors Harry and Olive Carey. He grew up on his parents' Santa Clarita ranch amongst horses and cattle. Beginning his acting career, Carey worked on many John Ford films, appearing in Western TV series like Three Godfathers, She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, The Searchers, Cheyenne Autumn, The Lone Ranger, Red River, Cahill U.S. Marshall, and more. Warren Oates starred in several westerns during his career. Oates is known to frequently collaborate with Sam Peckingpah on his productions. Oates began his career with guest roles in TV series like The Rifleman, The Virginian, Wagon Train, Rawhide, The Rebel, Gunsmoke, and more before playing major and supporting roles in films like Ride the High Country, Major Dundee, In the Heat of the Night, There Was a Crooked Man, Dillinger and more. Sam Shepard, an actor and prolific playwright and writer. He acted in many Oscar nominated films and earned a nomination himself for his performance in The Right Stuff. When it comes to westerns, Sam Shepard acted in Thunderheart, 
The good old boys, all the pretty horses, don't come knocking, the assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford, and more. Ernest Borgnine, an actor on stage, film and television, born to Italian immigrant parents and served in the Navy during World War II. After the war, Borgnine was offered a stage role. From here began acting. That led to several accolades, including an Oscar award for Marty Borgnine, starred in several acclaimed productions that included westerns like Vera Cruz, Bad Day at Black Rock, The Wild Bunch, Little House on the Prairie, Frontier Justice, Johnny Guitar, and more. Kevin Costner, an actor, director, and producer, winning two Academy Awards for Best Picture and Best Director for the epic western Dances with Wolves. His biggest hits have been sports dramas and western movies. Some of his best westerns include Dances with Wolves, Wyatt Earp, Open Range, Hatfields and McCoys, Yellowstone, Silverado, and more. Paul Newman, an Oscar-winning actor with nine other nominations under his belt. Newman starred in many classic movies. He also starred in multiple westerns, chief of them being Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, Hud, Buffalo Bill, and the Indians, the life and times of Judge Roy Bean, and more. George Gabby Hayes was one of the most popular Western movie actors in Hollywood, always played a sidekick or comic relief in his films. He was a top draw for the audiences. Despite being a well-read and intelligent person off screen, Hayes perfected the role of an uneducated cowboy who was irritable and sometimes downright clownish. Famous for his catchphrases like, you darn tootin', dern pernickety female, young whippersnapper, and more. Ward Bond, a character actor, starring in over 200 movies and TV series during his career and built a reputation for his western roles. Ward and John Wayne started their careers together. Bond appeared in several character roles in a wide variety of films. Some of his famous roles in westerns were in The Searchers, The Big Trail, Rio Bravo, Drums Along the Mohawk, Fort Apache, Wagon Train, Johnny Guitar and more. Gian Maria Volonte, an Italian actor, Gian Maria Volonte began acting in films in Italian cinema, but gained worldwide fame and popularity for his spaghetti westerns, starring in For a Few Dollars More, A Fistful of Dollars, A Bullet for the General, Face to Face, and more. Robert Taylor, a very popular actor in the 1930s and 40s, Taylor had a good run with all genres of romantic suspense and drama movies. He preferred to work in western comedies. He starred in Many Rivers to Cross, The Law and Jake Wade, Savage Pampas, and more. Errol Flynn, an Australian-American actor known for his adventurous roles and as an anti-hero or a lovable rogue. Flynn appeared in many westerns, as was the norm of the era. His most popular roles were in Dodge City, Santa Fe Trail, San Antonio, Virginia City, they died with their boots on, and more. James Arness. Arness worked in radio and later moved to Hollywood. James Arness is known for his roles in many westerns, most notably the Gunsmoke TV series and the made-for-TV films. He also starred in other westerns like Hondo, Gun the Man Down, Red River, How the West Was Won, and more. Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones is an Academy Award winning actor and director. Known for his performances in political thrillers, action dramas, psychological thrillers, etc. But he has acted in quite a few acclaimed westerns and neo-westerns. A few of them are No Country for Old Men, Lonesome Dove, The Three Burials of Malquitas Estrada, The Good Old Boys, The Missing, and more. Kirk Douglas, an actor and film producer who starred in many hit films, Nominated for three Academy Awards for Champion, The Bad and the Beautiful, and Lust for Life, winning an honorary Academy Award in 1996. The westerns that he starred in are There Was a Crooked Man, A Gunfight, Posse, A Man from Snowy River, A Man Without a Star, Lonely Are the Brave, Along the Great Divide, and many more. Charlton Heston, 
an actor and activist of significant acclaim, starring in some of the most memorable films ever made. We also saw Charlton Heston in memorable westerns, like The Savage, Pony Express, Arrowhead, The Far Horizons, Three Violent People, The Big Country, Will Penny, and more. Yul Brenner, a Russian actor, honored in the US with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, best known for his portrayal of King Monkut in King and I. Other notable performances of Yul Brenner were in The Ten Commandments, The Magnificent Seven, Invitation to a Gunfighter, Return of the Seven, Villa Rides, Adios, Sabata, Catlow, Westworld, and more. Rock Hudson. Hudson was one of the biggest Hollywood stars of the golden era and a heartthrob to millions. Starring in many genres of films, including westerns like The Undefeated, Showdown, Giant, etc., Rock Hudson also earned an Oscar nomination for his role in Giant. Other westerns were The Lawless Breed, Horizons West, Quantes, Bend of the River, Gun Fury, Seminole, Taza, Son of Cochise, The Last Sunset, Tomahawk, and more. Lee Van Cleef, known for his roles in spaghetti westerns like For a Few Dollars More, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. He started his acting career with a western, High Noon, which won high acclaim. Initially, Van Cleef was cast only as a minor villain, but Sergio Leone took a chance on him and he became a hit. Van Cleef worked on stage before getting film roles. He also starred in The Adventures of Kit Carson, The Lone Ranger, Annie Oakley, Brave Eagle, and more. Sam Elliott. Elliott is an American actor who was nominated for an Academy Award, two Golden Globes, two Primetime Emmy Awards, and two SAG Awards. His trademark southern drawl and a lanky physique make him a staple in cowboy movies. Sam starred in films like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, The Shadow Riders, Gunsmoke, Murder in Texas, The Quick and the Dead, The Buffalo Girls, Conniger, Gettysburg, Tombstone, and more. Charles Bronson. Bronson worked in supporting roles in many westerns and as a villain too. When the House Un-American Committee started investigating Hollywood, Buczynski changed his name to Bronson to escape the label of communist. Bronson starred in films like Once Upon a Time in the West, The Magnificent Seven, The Great Escape, Vera Cruz, Drumbeat, Jubal, Run of the Arrow, Tales of Will Fargo, and more. Robert Ryan, an actor and civil rights activist. Ryan is known for playing strong and forceful characters like an upright policeman, law enforcement officer, mobster, or bad guy. Some of his popular westerns were Trail Street, Return of the Bad Men, Best of the Bad Men, Horizons West, The Naked Spur, The Tall Men, The Proud Ones, Day of the Outlaw, The Canadians, The Professionals, Hour of the Gun, A Minute to Pray, A Second to Die, The Wild Bunch, Lawman, and more. James Garner. Garner was an actor with numerous accolades including nominations for an Academy Award, multiple Golden Globe Awards, Primetime Emmy Awards, and SAG Awards. Garner was amiable and charming and played many lovable rogues, anti-heroes, and con men. The most popular performances in westerns of James Garner include A Man Called Sledge, Brett Maverick, The Lazy Ace, The Castaway Cowboy, Jewel at Diablo, Hour of the Gun, Maverick, One Little Indian, skin game, and more. James Coburn, an actor with an iconic image as a cool dude and tough guy. He typified the new Hollywood era, along with Charles Bronson, Steve McQueen, and Clint Eastwood, amongst others, as his contemporaries. Coburn also won an Academy Award for his role in Affliction. Other popular Western movies that made James Coburn a star were The Magnificent Seven, Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, The Restless Gun, Ride Lonesome, Tales of Well Fargo, Waterhole No. 3, The Face of a Fugitive, Major Dundee, and more. William Holden. 
an outstanding actor who won an Academy Award for his role in Starlog 17, rated as one of the top 25 greatest actors from the classic Hollywood era. Holden also won a Primetime Emmy Award for his role in the TV series The Blue Knight. William Holden starred in classic westerns like The Wild Bunch, Arizona, Texas, The Man from Colorado, Streets of Laredo, Escape from Fort Bravo, Alvarez Kelly, Wild Rovers, and more. Joel McCree, a popular leading man in westerns. He was a rancher who loved riding horses and acting as a hobby. He had a film career of half a century with successful comedies, dramas, romantic films, and westerns to his credit. Some memorable western films of McCree include Wichita, Ride the High Country, Wells Fargo, Buffalo Bill, The Virginian, They Pass This Way, The Outriders, and more. This brings us up to date with the new additions to my top 20 Western actors of all time. Now I will recap the 20 actors that I already mentioned. You can go to my top 20 or top 10 Western actors videos to get the expanded information on them. See the description for links. Audie Murphy Ben Johnson Bert Lancaster Clint Eastwood Gary Cooper Gene Autry Glenn Ford Gregory Peck Henry Fonda James Stewart John Wayne Lee Marvin Randolph Scott Richard Whitmark Robert Duval Robert Mitchum Roy Rogers Steve McQueen Tom Mix Walter Brennan Thanks for your time today. I hope you liked the video. Drop me your comments. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. It helps me a lot. Bye for now.